Hello, my amazing artists. Hello, my amazing art teacher. Hello. So, I know I am not there today, but I'm expecting to see some amazing artwork when I come back. So, here are your directions today. First thing is please put on your imaginary scientist gear. Maybe you have imaginary gloves, you have an imaginary lab coat, or some goggles. That would be pretty important because today you are a color scientist. Some things you need to be a color scientist are a piece of paper from the art store, a messy mat, a pencil from your table caddy, Sharpies from your table Sharpie cup, your table's box of crayons, a paint tray, watercolor of course, a cup of water, and a paintbrush. Maybe a pointy one. All right, so um, first things first is I'm gonna put my name on my paper. And my class code. And I'm gonna flip it over. All right, so on this paper, we're gonna draw some cylinders. Cylinder is a 3D shape, which means it has form, which is one of our elements of art. This is a wooden cylinder, so it has a flat top that is a round shape on both sides, top and bottom are flat circles. But if I put it on this side, it is rolling because it's round on the side but I can stand it up like that. So, two flat circles and a round side. When I look at my cylinder from the top, it's a circle, but when I tilt it, ooh, look at that. The circle turns into an oval up here at the top. So that's what we're gonna be drawing today, that oval shape on the top and then on the bottom. This is wood, so we can't see through it, but we need a clear. So with my pencil, I'm going to try to draw this really small oval shape at the top. Was when I tilt, tilt my cylinder, it goes from that circle to a very skinny oval. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna try to fit quite a few on here. I'm gonna start on this side. So I'm gonna draw my really thin oval and then two lines two vertical lines coming down from either side of the oval, and then another one at the bottom. Two ovals, two lines. Not too hard. Let's do another kind. So I'm gonna draw a really skinny, small oval at the top up here. Two vertical lines. And then my bottom is gonna flare out really wide. like that. And then I'm going to draw a big oval to meet these two two lines together. Ta-da! I'm going to draw some more. There we go. Let's see, maybe a big one right back here. Big oval, wide but skinny. Two lines and it's going to be how about in front? Like that, and then I'm gonna draw another oval. Da da da, and then I think I can fit one more in here. Oh, I think I need to change this line. There we go. All right, awesome. So each oval has a top arching line and then a bottom arching line. You can draw it just like that on both sides. Cool, so since this is in front of the big triangle beaker, I'm gonna erase this. Don't need it. All right, cool. Now I can add some measuring lines to my cylinders. Maybe I am measuring milliliters of a liquid and you can also number them if you want. I always start at the bottom when I'm numbering and going up, because this little bit would be like one milliliter and then you keep going up. All right, cool. So I'm gonna add some lines to 
my cylinders and then I'm also going to add a table line that cuts across. So, because right now my cylinders are just floating in space. So I'm going to add a line. There we go. Awesome. So now I've got a clear table and then the wall behind it. Awesome. All right. So now I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to trace all the lines that I drew. Okay. So now I have traced over all of my pencil lines and I've even erased some lines with my eraser that I decided that I didn't want. You can change stuff, guys, with your pencil. That's why we start in pencil, because if you want to change it when you go to Sharpie, you can do that. All right, so I've got all my lines drawn. I'm feeling pretty good. Maybe I'll add a couple more lines to my beakers. Okay, so all my Sharpieing is done. I'm gonna put that away. Now, almost ready for paint, but I have one more thing to do. I need to color my table, and I'm gonna do that with crayons. The crayons are a good resistant to um, our watercolor. So if we accidentally spill some of our paint out of our beaker, it won't stick to the table. So it won't look like we accidentally went outside of the lines. Kind of helps us prevent any mistakes. So I'm just going in with my crayons and I'm coloring in all those table spots. Let me show you how that's going to look. I started one earlier. So. I crayoned my whole table, and you can see how I mixed some colors. I got a little excited. Um, I used all cold colors, but you can use whatever colors you want. So I crayoned my whole table. Next step is to add the water line to our beakers. And you can see I've done it here. I made a squiggly lined oval where I wanted the water to stop. So on your paper, it might look something like this. You make a squiggly line, and then you make one that curves underneath it. Just like that. So now you have an idea about where the liquid is in your beaker. Okay, looks like we're ready to paint. This is what I'm going for, this kind of polka dotty. Um, bubbly mixture. I'm going to take my wet paintbrush just with water and I'm going to wet my surface that I want um, to have the color. Da, 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 da. All right, totally wet, looks good. And the crayon is helping that water stay inside my Sharpie lines. All right, cool. So, wet paper. Now I'm going to pick two colors that I like a lot. I've done red and blue, and I've done uh, yellow and red. So now I'm going to mix, how about blue and purple? So I'm gonna start with a little bit of purple. Getting some purple on my paintbrush. And I'm swirling, I'm not squishing, I'm swirling. And I'm gonna add some dots to this wet paper. This is a wet on wet painting technique, which means it will make um, the paint kind of spread out. So let's see what happens. I don't know if you can tell, but every time I make a dot on the water, it spreads out. It looks like a little uh, firework. It's really cool. Or tie-dye, that's what it looks like, is tie-dye paint. All right, so once I've got all the dots that I want in that first color, I'll rinse my brush. I'll show you up close. Ooh, those are looking really cool. I'm gonna go into my blue now. I'm gonna add some blue, oh, that looks really good. Some blue dots, the more dots I add, the more the colors will mix. If I want to keep them separate, I might want fewer dots. All right, this looks pretty cool, but if it's still not mixing as much as I would like, I can add some uh, drops of just water. 
and that will really move the color around. But be careful, we don't want it to get too wet and then it'll leak all over our paper. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so now I'll do all of them. And once I've done all of them, I can go back and add some more details. So in this last picture I'm gonna show you, this last version, this is probably hanging up on the whiteboard right now. Um, I filled in all the colors, I crammed my table, I even painted my background, and then I added some bubbles coming up out of my uh, containers. And the best way to make bubbles is just like how we did the um, painting on the inside with the dots. And then if you want to go even further, like these green ones here, you can actually paint little circles. So I painted a circle, and I just left some white spots in there. And it helps look like uh, there's like a reflection on the bubble. And if you want them to be a little darker so they stand out, I usually find that looks really good. So see how I left that little tiny white spot right there? It helps um, make it look like the light is shining on the bubbles. All right, you guys, when you're all done and you have all your containers painted, you've added some funky details, um, and your name is on the back of your paper, ta-da, right there, you can put it on the drying rack, please. If you finish with more um, than five minutes left in the class, you can do some smiley face activities uh, with free choice paper. Please don't use the art store paper. We were using that for our project. All right, so use the free choice paper and the smiley faces. All right, you guys, I think you are totally gonna rock this project. So don't forget, draw, trace, and erase, color with crayons, wet your cylinder, add the paint, little dots, and then you can paint your background and add the details. All right, have so much fun. I can't wait to see how these turn out. Bye.